Meet the Beta family from Saratoga, California. Hemet, Monisha, Devanji, Pranav, Krishna, and the family's newest addition, Gertie. She is a Volkswagen Super Beetle, 1972. Gertie's no ordinary bug either. The family turned her into a plug-in electric car. Hemet and his son Pranav came up with the idea while driving. Uh, a bug went by and uh, we were talking about the bug. Says, why don't we do some project together? And, and I said, how about an electrical car? My dad actually had always wanted to uh, make an electrical car when he was uh, in college. He was saying, but isn't that going to be too difficult? And I said, well, we'll, we'll figure it out. And so the Beta's mission began. First off, finding the right car. Yellow is my favorite color, so when we met Gertie, who's become a part of our family now, it was a no-brainer. Then the work began, and it's a job that took the whole family. Prano, you know, he, he did uh, most of the work, uh, changing the brakes, changing the uh, suspension, working on the uh, transmission, Debanshi helped with the uh, installation of the motor. Every time I came home, it would be basically what we would do all weekend. It would be the talk of the dinner table. Every time I called from school, that's all we could talk about. I wanted updates about the car. My role was to keep them well fed and inspire them. Uh, my little sister was definitely like the cheerleader of the project. I think my favorite part is when we changed the license plate and Gertie officially became Voltbug. Not everything was easy. A few problems held things up, like swapping out the old combustible engine for the new electric one, while Devanchi was home from college. We were trying to put in the motor, and um, that was really challenging. We spent the whole weekend um, trying to get it aligned. We um, did some research, and we realized we needed just a $3 alignment tool that could um, make the whole process a lot easier. Pranav, who's in high school, says another big challenge was figuring out where to put not one, but 12 batteries. The hardest part was the design of the batteries fitting in, because also because of the weight and the actual space in the car. So these are six of the 12 batteries, and they are connected to the controller. The other six are in the back, and each weighs about 50 pounds. So this is pretty much everything we've done. This is the controller, which is the brains of the electrical car. It uh, controls the motor. This is the motor, this is the controller. Now for the easy part, plugging her in. We just take the power cord, one end into the wall, and the other right here. Emmett and Pranav also took the old engine apart as an exercise to see how it works and check out what they found. This is where the gas gets burned and you can see all this black surface because of the, of the carbon. Gas, it like pollutes the environment, but then um, having an electrical car, it doesn't pollute the environment. With the electrical car, with today's technology, you can get up to 80, 100 miles. And for most of us, it is a practical mode of transportation. Electrical vehicle is the way of the future. That future became the present for the Betas when the moment of truth arrived. When we were finally going to start the car, you know, do the last step, put in the batteries and start it, I booked a special flight home so that I could be a part of that. So, it was time to find out whether Gertie's wheels would spin. And the family's video camera was rolling. Slow as always. Yeah. When we hit the accelerator, the wheels moved, and it was really exciting. The wheels moved, they turned. It was just very exciting. It worked. The, the interesting thing was that, uh, you know, even though how much uh, uh, my wife inspired us all, when the car worked, she says, gee, I, I never believed you guys were ever going to get this in time. <laughs> These days, the Betas take Gertie on short trips around the neighborhood and on errands. And of course, it's available for special occasions. And that sounds like my cue. Now it's time for me to take a spin in Gertie. I'll catch you guys later.
Wow, it's so quiet in here. Yeah.